The little girl picked up a chicken leg. In this castle, there are many children with special abilities. Each person possesses unique powers. For instance, this little girl is responsible for enlarging objects, while another drags carrots back for cooking. Some people defy gravity and can't fly in the sky, but they must wear shoes weighing several hundred kilograms to walk. Others have the ability to turn invisible. In the late night, an old man lay on the ground, but upon closer inspection, his eyes were strangely absent. When Jack arrived, the old man was barely clinging to life, but he managed to provide Jack with a clue, instructing him to find a place called Children's Home. The director there, Miss Pei, would reveal the whole truth. Jack pleaded with his father to take him to the island. However, upon reaching the island, he learned it from the locals that the castle had become ruins in the air in 1943. With no survivors, Jack refused to give up and ventured alone to the castle's ruins on the second floor, which immediately overwhelmed him. Upon waking up, he found himself carried by a little girl on her shoulders. Astonishingly, Jack encountered characters from his grandfather's stories, realizing they truly existed. Moreover, Jack discovered he had traveled through time, returning from 2016 to 1943. There, he met Miss Pei, who was having dinner, when the thunderous noise of an airplane echoed in the sky. Rushing outside, they witnessed a bomb about to fall on the castle. Miss Pei adjusted the stopwatch, and time began to reverse, taking them back 24 hours. It turned out that Miss Pei was the time space bird. She created a time loop to protect the children. Jack discovered a victim without eyes, intending to report to Miss Pei. Suddenly, he was captured. The arch villain used him to blackmail Miss Pei, and reluctantly, Miss Pei sacrificed herself in bird form. At that moment, an invisible monster broke in, causing panic among the children. Only Jack could see the creature. When a boy was about to be attacked, Jack shot the monster with an arrow, creating an opportunity for everyone to escape. The little girl quickly used her superpowers, escaping with the help of tree branches. But the monster followed. The girl without gravity took off her iron shoes and flew with Jack. However, they couldn't leave without saving Miss Pei. So they found a ship. With the girl's help, the ship was back in motion. Thus, a yacht set sail. The children successfully revealed the monsters using snowballs. Now, everyone could see them. The boy manipulated a skeleton puppet, eliminating the invisible monster. On the other side, a boy resurrected an elephant, easily defeating a monster. The hidden twin siblings, who possessed Medusa's eye, turned the female monster into a stone statue by locking eyes with her. Jack took the chance to release the time-space bird. Only Jack and the harsh villain remained for the final showdown. Just then, shouts from Jack's teammates outside were heard. The arch villain smirked. When the teammates opened the door, they saw two identical Jacks. An invisible monster approached quietly. The real Jack slowly retreated, and the starving invisible monster didn't care about authenticity, promptly devouring the arch villain's eyeballs. Jack bid farewell to the children with special abilities. They were going back to 1943, awaiting Miss Pei to reset the time loop. Jack chose to return to 2016, 